Welcome to Adco Aviation. I finally got all my photos uploaded to my laptop. Therefore, I'm going to try to get us caught up to our current process. I just love all the encouragement this building community gives. Thank you all. On the fourth video, I ended with filling the aileron gap with foam board. I actually tore out all those foam boards, but more on that later. I was kind of worried, but also excited about putting in the nose ribs. You'll notice the inbound most rib is actually solid quarter inch. If you remember, I told Leonard I had to fold my wings. So I took some ideas from Airbikes folding wing plans and decided in order to save weight, I'd build it into my wing instead of an add-on as per their free plans. I later added an eighth inch skin externally to help hold the hanging weight of the wing in the stored position. Hopefully, you'll see as I progress more about this. And after I complete the entire airframe, I'll probably do a video just on the folding wings. I clamped a board to both edges of the wing to hold those ribs square to the wing. Setting the wing on its side made this process a lot easier. Also note, after hearing many fellow builders having issues with their leading edge plywood buckling, I decided to slightly modify the nose rib configuration. Kind of like putting studs every 16 inches instead of 24 inches when you build a house, I added an 8th inch rib every 12 inches instead of 15 per the plans. Also, by doing this, the nose plywood that came 48 inches wide I didn't have to cut the width or creating waste. The plans call for 10 quarter inch plywood ribs and 12 1 8 inch plywood ribs. But the way I built it, I needed 18 8 inch ribs. That's only 3 extra 8 inch ribs per wing. I figured this would be very little extra weight added to help eliminate the buckling problem that so many have. On my next build, I may would even put an eighth inch rib every eight inches. That would only be 10 extra eighth inch ribs per wing at very little extra weight. I was very happy how the plywood wrapped around these nose ribs with very little dimpling. We'll see how the final product turns out. I used a lot of rubber bands and clamps to hold these ribs in place until the T88 glue dried. At this time, I also glued the wing attachment brackets in place. This picture shows a potential problem. I installed, per the plans, the mounting hole 5 eighths of an inch below the front and rear spar. On my next plane, I'll make it 7 eighths inch below the rear spar. We need to account for the quarter inch rib below the rear spar. I'll try to come up with something to create a recessed cavity around this bolt as well as the rear jury strut bracket. I took my annual break on my favorite weekend of the year, Reclaw Fly-In 2021. Here you can camp out on the runway sideline and watch hundreds of planes take off, land, and fly right in front of you. You have the opportunity to meet fellow-minded pilots and friends. This year, we had a special treat. Leonard and John came out as well as Travis and Les they flew their legal eagles to the fly-in this year it's always the fourth weekend in October at the Flying M Ranch near Reclaw Texas if you want to come join me next year so back to work I mounted the aileron control brackets and some scrap plywood glue surfaces around them to aid in the covering process and started to prepare the wings for spraying spar varnish. I began using a leather lace cutter to cut the masking tape to a quarter inch width, but later found on Amazon quarter inch pre-cut masking tape cheap. 
After talking with Les, he recommended using spray cans that were nearly $10 a piece. I decided to buy a $15 sprayer from Harbor Freight and a $15 to $20 quart of the same spar varnish. I'm so glad I did. This worked out great. Anyways, after covering all surfaces that I didn't want sprayed, I set both wings outside and gave them several light coats. On to the fuel tank. At first, I was thinking of building a fiberglass tank, but decided to go with a riveted, set-on-top wing tank using a ProSeal type sealant. More to come on that. But here's some pictures of my pattern made of scrap foam and prep of the wing cavity. On the next video, I will show you the wrapping of the nose and finishing touches getting ready to cover both wings. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe it can answer some questions you may have had or maybe even encourage you to start a build like this. If you want to start from the beginning of this build, I placed a link in the playlist in the YouTube description. If you liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you'll click the bell notification, you'll get a notice every time I upload another video. Thanks, happy building, and be safe.